Hello everyone, hope you're all fine. Welcome to my kitchen by Nana. So today I'm showing you how to cook chicken luombo. Chicken luombo is a chicken recipe that uh, you cook in banana leaves. You steam the chicken in banana leaves. You don't just use any banana leaves for this recipe. You get the youngest banana leaf that is just coming out of the plant. And then you heat it on very low heat because you want it to get that aroma and that same aroma will be in the chicken after cooking it. So you first roast that chicken shortly on a source of heat. Make sure your heat isn't too much. My heat is a little bit much because I'm in some kind of rush. But make sure the heat is low so that you do not burn the chicken. I'm trying to be careful so that I don't burn it. And then after roasting it, you have to wash it clean because it's going to have some particles of uh, ash, some particles of uh, charcoal. So you have to really wash it clean. So now I'm going to prep the ingredients and the vegetables that I'm going to put in our chicken. Uh, in the saucepan, I've put some onions, some tomatoes, carrots, green pepper, which I'm going to just heat until the onions give us some soup. I also add some Irish potatoes and some water for them to cook a little bit soft. In case you've been wondering what to cook for your family on a special day like Easter, on a Sunday lunch, well, uh, this is a very nice, traditional, yet classy chicken recipe. Comes out very nice and very tasty. And the aroma that the banana leaves give the chicken is so nice. So for the dry ingredients, I used salt, chicken curry, and raiko powder, which I wasn't able to get on video i'm sorry about that but don't forget the salt that is a must of course so just boil them shortly and then we are going to add them to our chicken this is how the smoked banana leaf looks like and i'll be using one to put the chicken and the potatoes and all the rest of the vegetables and I'll show you where I'll use the second one. Pour everything carefully on the chicken and what i'll do for more soup i'm going to rinse the saucepan with very little water and then i'll add that water to the chicken but you don't have to put much because um, the steam is going to cook the chicken and it will produce more water which will make more soup So now I'm arranging it very well because I need to make a note and make sure you arrange it very well so that the soup doesn't pour out and then you make a very tight knot. And if you haven't yet subscribed to My Kitchen by Nana and you would like to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. It's down below in red. Hit the notification bell to also notify you whenever I upload. Don't forget to also leave your comments below. So this is the saucepan that you are going to use. I put uh, some things below, a banana leaf. Now this is the second banana leaf. I've laid it down very well. And now I'm going to use it to cover our luwombo very well. We need it to have steam. Uh, the more you cover the luwombo very well, the more steam inside. And remember, it is the steam that is going to cook our chicken. So make sure you cover it very well with many banana leaves. And yeah, in like two hours, your chicken will be ready. 
two to three hours depending on the chicken type the one i'm cooking today is a croiler so it's going to take about two hours so it's two hours and let's check on the chicken i'm sure it is ready and i'm already getting the aroma from these banana leaves you people should try out this recipe because the chicken comes out so tasty even the irish potatoes also come out so tasty so just try it out it's very simple as long as you can get the leaves if you're in my country you can get them from a market so i'm going to have my chicken with the potatoes of course and i also have it with boiled rice and matoke matoke those are green bananas in case you want to know how to cook matoke i've left for you a link down below in the description box please check it out it is very nice it is very tasty i can already get the aroma from the chicken i feel like diving in already you people should try this out it's very very simple to make Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed everything. Have a lovely day.